Hello YouTube, before we jump into the apartment tour, I wanted to share a bit about my week-long road trip to get from Chicago to LA. So basically, we packed up our car and left bright and early on Monday morning. We only took what could fit inside the car, so there was some major Tetrising going on here. Our first stop was Omaha, Nebraska, which was about a six and a half hour drive. We passed the time driving through a bunch of cornfields, snacking and singing along to One Direction. We were in Omaha for just one night, so we checked into our super cute hotel and went out for dinner. It was nice just to travel again for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic, and it really made me appreciate exploring new cities so much more. The next morning, we packed up our carry-ons and headed off to Colorado, and the altitude there is no joke. Our chip bag became a pillow of air, and my ears were popping nonstop. We drove about seven and a half hours there and finally made it into Denver and we were staying there for two nights and during our time there we ate so many delicious foods and saw so many beautiful sights. We really tried to make the most of our time there and I loved every single second of it. The next leg of our road trip was to drive about 11 hours from Denver to Las Vegas and this was our longest driving day, driving across Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and into Nevada. But the time went by pretty quickly because of all the beautiful sights. We were wowed by the changing scenery of all the mountains and canyons. And honestly, everywhere we looked, there was such a beautiful sight to see. Driving through the mountains made me feel so small and I gained such an appreciation for nature and I was just in so much awe of how beautiful our earth is. By the time sunset hit, we got into Las Vegas, and with two nights there, we got to explore parts of Vegas that we haven't been before. But honestly, most of our time was spent eating and relaxing, and just enjoying the last leg of our road trip before we headed into LA. Saturday morning came, and this was our move-in day. We were finally headed off to California. This was our last time on the road, and it took about four hours, and we didn't make any stops because we were just so excited to get into our new place. After driving 2,025 miles and over 31 hours from Chicago to Los Angeles, we finally made it into our new home. So here is my empty LA apartment tour. Hello! Oh my god, that was the first time we just rang this doorbell and it sounds like a legit doorbell. Wait, let me press it. our new LA apartment. I am like so in disbelief that we're here. We literally have been stalking, well I have been stalking this place online and I've just been looking at all the videos and things like that because we were not able to see this home in person. So now that we're here it looks exactly like it did in the videos and all the photos. So now I'm going to show you guys our new home starting with the most amazing part which is our laundry room. So we finally have an in-unit washer and dryer and there is ample space for some cleaning supplies and then maybe I'll do like some hooks or something here just so that we can hang stuff to dry. Also, I'm really sorry if it is echo in here. This is literally empty. Nothing else is in here. This is like our first look at this apartment. So I hope that you guys like our new home. Okay, moving on. So this is where our kitchen is, and it basically is just along one wall. Everything's very gray and silver, so I'm hoping to change that up. But this is like literally the nicest place that we've ever lived, and I'm really excited to just be cooking in here more. And I think we have a garbage disposal, which is pretty awesome. And I think that this is gonna be my first time using a dishwasher, because we had one in our old place, but I just never used it. And now that we have one that's pretty big, I think we'll start using it. Maybe when we go to Target later, I'll buy some dishwasher stuff, but we'll see. I don't know, I already have some like DIYs planned for this, so I'm really excited to just change this up because it's very gray in here. You can see like all the cabinets are gray. And then we have this little, I don't know what it is exactly, but it is kind of where our trash is. And this is nice because then we have enough space to put all our recyclables and all of that. I was thinking about making this into like my DIY corner, but we'll see. And then this whole area is pretty open, so we'll probably put a dining area right here where you guys are standing right now. It is an empty wall, so we can definitely change it up, make it into whatever we want it to be. Oh, and I think that this is actually a chalkboard wall. So that is pretty cool as well. <laughs> also, we have a beautiful fridge with the water inside and that's pretty fancy. 
I'm so excited for this. We have an ice maker. Oh my gosh. We're not really ice people though, but it's nice to know that we have that and now I can be an ice person. I'm really excited to go grocery shopping. I think there's a Trader Joe's nearby, so we definitely have to hit that up. So right here is our main living area and I think I talked to you guys about this before, but I said that this place is pretty narrow. So we basically have our dining, our kitchen, and our living room all in one space. So I'm going to have to try to figure out how to configure this whole area. So this area is a little bit of a challenge because we have a sliding wall here separating our living room from our bedroom. So as you guys can see, these basically go all the way across. Oh. And you can make it so that it's like this or you can like close it all the way up or not. <laughs> But this is fun because you're able to make it feel like a larger space and you can really divide it however you want it to. So I think that's going to be a fun challenge to just kind of figure that out and see how we like it best after we've lived here for a couple of weeks. And then into here is our bedroom. It is a lot smaller than our old bedroom for sure. And we do have to downsize from our king bed to a queen bed. And for the next week, we're going to have to sleep on an air mattress which I'm not looking forward to, but we will survive. We have these nice, beautiful windows and this place gets some really nice lighting. I'm so excited to just wake up in this space and like have nice weather instead of the cold Chicago weather because we are not going to miss winter here. And then from here you have the closet and the bathroom. And this is also another sliding door. Hi. And this closet is honestly huge. I think that this would be amazing for one person. I'm wondering if it's going to fit everything that Brian and I have, but let's take a look. Actually, I think this will fit all of our stuff, right? We basically downsized all of our clothes. <laughs> we basically downsized all of our clothes and got rid of a bunch of stuff. So this is really cool because it's basically like a slat wall and you can just take out the shelves and then just move it wherever you want, which is really awesome. And I think I might even purchase some extra things to put onto the slat wall. And I really wish that these were gold, but we'll just have to work with the silver. This is gonna be a really fun area to tackle just to maximize the space. There are some really awesome hooks. So we have like these, and then maybe like a jewelry wall or something. There's so much that you can do with this. You could definitely put like shelves at the bottom and then like put shoes. I don't know, I feel like I need more clothes to maybe fit all this because we did get rid of a lot of them, but I'm excited for what this space has to bring. And basically this whole area is a closet slash bathroom. So if you guys look right behind you is actually the shower. So we do have a walk-in shower. It's pretty nice and spacious. I'm kind of sad that we don't have a bathtub, but I really never take baths, so that's totally fine. So we'll definitely have to figure out how everything works and see what we need, but I don't know. I'm really excited for the shower and how big it is. And then let me close this. And if anyone's wondering if our clothes are going to get too wet from being right next to the shower, there is a vent right above here. And apparently the more moisture it gets, the more it'll suck up. So hopefully that's true, but we'll see how this works. So right next to the shower is actually the toilet and the sink. And this is really nice because then we can use each one of these spaces without being in each other's faces all the time. Again, lots of silver accents, lots of grays. There's some nice built-in shelves here and then a lot of storage, which is super nice. And then even a space like next to the toilet, which I'll have to figure out what we're doing with. Oh, and the toilet water's blue. Fancy. Also, we just changed the auto white balance on here, so I hope that it looks a little bit better in here. But as you guys can see, the color scheme is really gray, really silver. And what's nice about this bathroom is that there's ample counter space, which is something that I've never had before. So I'm just excited to just put all my skincare here and have all these drawers. And oh my God, there's so much space underneath even. I'm gonna do so many organization videos, like I'm so excited. And then there is a medicine cabinet right here, which is really awesome for things that you don't wanna keep on the countertop. And I love medicine cabinets. I don't know if people think they're outdated, but I like that they're able to like hide things and just make use of vertical space. It's 
So I'm really happy that we have that. And what you'll notice about this space is that there are a lot of sliding doors and I think that's just a great way to save some space, especially since this isn't the biggest apartment unit and it's really fun to have these. Something that I've never had before. And it's a lot more modern than what we're used to. And then basically this whole thing is a circle. So as we come back over here, we just have another closet, which is a great coat closet, or we can make this into an office or something like that. I've seen a lot of closet offices and I think they look so awesome. So we'll see what we do with this space. And then we're basically back to the front. So circling back around, this is basically our entryway. And again, it has these slat walls so we can put all of the stuff here and then a nice big basket. But really we can switch this out and make it anything that we want. So of course I wanna have like a console table over here. And then we might also make this into a little office nook area since I'll be working from home. Really trying to figure out what we're doing exactly with this space. So I'm really excited to show you guys what we do. So now saving the best part for last, we do have a balcony and I'm so excited because we have such a beautiful view. So let me take you guys outside. Oh, it's so hot today. It's like a hundred something degrees. This space is honestly bigger than I thought it would be. So I'm really excited to have a balcony and to have this beautiful view of the mountains. And I think we'll have some beautiful sunsets out here. So I'm really excited to have an outdoor dining space for me and Brian to enjoy and just to be outside more because honestly, this year has really made me want to go outside. So I'm really excited for that. All right, guys, so that is my new space. I hope that you guys liked watching the tour with us. I'm so excited to be in this new place and I'm so excited to make so many room makeover videos. So I hope that you guys are ready. And right now, I'm basically just going to unload all of our stuff, which is gonna be a mission, but I know that we will power through it and then we're gonna go to Target and Trader Joe's and just get all of our essentials and we'll take it from there. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for new content every single week on my channel. Also follow me on Instagram for all of the behind the scenes footage and that is it for today's video. Stay inspired and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.